Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with a brand new video and I will be sharing with you guys fragrances that I am removing from my collection. Yes guys, I have quite a few fragrances that I am taking out of my collection simply because they just don't do it for me. I never wear them, I don't get them, I don't get the hype, I don't understand it so I'm just gonna pass them along to friends and family that can truly appreciate them. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Join the family, okay? We are fun and we smell good. We have great makeup. So definitely join by subscribing. Also hit the bell notification so that you are notified every single time I upload a video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, and also leave your comment down below so we can chat and I get to know you guys that way. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay guys, so I have a bag over here where I put all of the fragrances that I am no longer keeping in my collection. And there's probably gonna be a part two of this video because I still have to go through a few of my drawers, but I'm just going to grab them, tell you why, and move along so this video isn't super long, okay? I, even though I know you guys love my long ass videos, but they are a headache to edit. Starting off with Lancome Miracle. I've had this fragrance for a couple of months now, and honestly, I never wear it. It is a floral, fruity fragrance. It smells a little bit citrusy and bright in the opening. Um, it's nice. It's just like a really nice fragrance, but there's nothing wow about it and nothing that kind of like pulls me towards it. So that is removed. Next one is Floral Streets. This is called Neon Rose. I do have another one from Floral Street, which is like a super musk, not musky, um, smoky scent. And I really like that. This one, it's a really bright floral fragrance. It really reminds me of like Mon Paris by YSL. But it's one that I know personally I'm not going to grab. So that one's getting removed. I feel like my sister would really like that one, so I might save that one for her. The next one that I have is Laura Mercier Creme Brulee. The only reason why I'm removing this is because I've had her for such a long time, and I said I wasn't going to remove her, but mm, do I want to remove her? No, no, I'm getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of it. I have a lot of gourmand scents that already give me the vibe that I am looking for. So I'm not going to keep this one. I only have a little bit left. That's why I'm contemplating keeping her. But I feel like she's going off very, very soon. I've had it for a couple of years now. So that one is getting removed. The next one is um, Erin Amber Musk. And this one, I don't know. I, I just... It's nice, but it's nothing special, so I don't see why I would keep it in my collection. I know I wouldn't wear it um, ever, really, because I've had it for about a year now, and I've probably worn it maybe once or twice. It's not an off-putting scent whatsoever. It's a nice, warm, amber fragrance, but it's not something that I would grab. So this one is getting removed but she is really nice. She is very nice. The next fragrance that I have is from Liz Watier, and this is called Watier. This is newer to the uh, Liz Watier line. This is a nice fragrance if you like something very minimalistic, fresh, soft, clean, floral. This is it right here. It is an everyday type of scent, great for the office, but for me, it's just not enough. You know me. I love my bold scents that have a lot of character to them. This one is just like, she's a bit boring for me. She's a bit boring. The next one that I'm removing is Reveal from Calvin Klein. This one, I'm trying to remember how it got in my collection. I honestly don't remember, but it's nice but I've never worn it. Like I think I've worn it maybe once and I know I've had this for a really, really long time. It's just, I know I'm not gonna wear it. I know I'm not gonna wear it. So that one is getting removed. The next one that I have is from Clean and this is called Warm Cashmere. I normally wear, uh, use this to spray around the house. I don't spray it on myself ever. But, I mean, I've had her for a really long time, so 
it's it's not getting the use that it needs so i'm removing that one from my collection the next one that i have uh quite a few of you guys were actually surprised that i didn't like this fragrance at all this is from gucci and this is called gucci rush i've only sprayed this maybe three times and I'm not even going to spray it right now because I already know what it smells like. It's just, it's a weird fragrance from the packaging to the actual perfume. I don't understand it. It doesn't sit well on my skin and it just, it smells really fruity, but I don't know. I don't like this fragrance. It just really kind of makes me feel a little bit nauseous when I wear this. It's weird. I don't know if there's peach in here. The next fragrance that I have is from Jean-Paul Gaultier and this is Classic Cabaret and this one mm, uh, she's nice she's sweet she's pleasant she's very girly but compared to a lot of the fragrances that I have it's not one that I specifically need in my collection it doesn't wow me when I spray her but it's a pretty sweet scent it does give me a little bit of la belle vibes i find with jean paul gaultier a lot of his fragrances have that something in there that distinguish this brand but honestly it's one that i never ever wear i think this is more like a fruity fragrance it smells quite fruity to me but i don't like the packaging and yeah i'm gonna remove that one i think i've worn it maybe twice so the next one that I have is from YSL. This is a Mon Party. I believe this is called, what is this? This is a flanker. Yeah, this is a flanker. You guys told me this was a flanker. I forget the name of the flanker, but uh, this is the packaging right here. The only reason I'm getting rid of it is because I never wear this. It's nice. It's pleasant. It's crowd pleasing, but it's not special. It really isn't special to me. So this is probably going to go to my sister. The next one that I have is Beyonce Heat. And this is a really nice, sweet fragrance from the drugstore. It is super duper affordable. You can get this for $20 at Shoppers Drug Mart. It's very sweet. It's kind of sexy. It has this oriental vibe to it. But because I have so many fragrances that are already in this kind of vibe and they last a lot longer on me, they smell a lot better on me, that is why I'm getting rid of this one. But it is pretty. If you are on a budget and you want something super sweet and seductive, this is a great scent for that. Uh, next one, I have Nina Ricci and this is Rouge, I believe. Uh, I don't know. She's nice. She's fruity, floral, sweet, but not my vibe. It's a little too young. It's not as mature as I want it to be. It's not as bold as I want it to be. So that is why I'm getting rid of this. This one I've only sprayed maybe once just to test it out. I haven't even worn it for a long time on the skin, honestly. But it's, it's a little too meh for me, you know? The next two that I have is from Way, and these fragrances, they're actually really nice. They're very like everyday appropriate, non-offensive fragrances, great as a signature if you are very minimalistic with your fragrances. You know me, guys. I'm not minimalistic with my fragrances. I want a fragrance that's going to be like, pow, I'm here, I have arrived, and these they don't they don't give me that so that's why i'm getting rid of these two and last oh we got two okay so this is sunset riot from all saints the only reason i'm getting rid of this one is because i already have the original baccarat rouge 540 so i don't really need a dupe for it so i'm gonna pass this on to a family member that's going to love it um because it smells quite quite similar but with a cheaper price point so that's the only reason i'm getting rid of it because it is a beautiful scent that will give you baccarat rouge all the way but i already have the original one so that's why i'm getting rid of it so guys that is it for my video and all of the fragrances that i'm kind of removing from my collection i know i get a lot of questions on what do you do with these fragrances i normally just put it in a box and when friends and family come over or i see them i gift it to them <laughs> that's what happens um i normally don't really sell these fragrances a few i get in pr a few i've purchased 
for myself but normally I just kind of give them to whoever wants them so that's what happens they do not go in the garbage that's for sure they go to a new loving home that's really going to appreciate them so hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely leave your comments down below I will have a part two because I still have quite a few fragrances to remove so look out for that one as always thank you so much for all of your love and support I love you guys so so much and I will see you guys on the next one ciao